Ross. Ross, Ross, Ross. Ross is uh, leaving us to follow his hopes and dreams. Yes, and which, is, which is awesome, and the fucking fan is awesome, too. Uh, apparently, Mark A.G. is named, nicknamed Hope, and uh, Raj Sharma is nicknamed Dream. That's only funny to Dallas Comics. Uh, the only person, the, the happiest person that, uh, that Tone Bell actually got a, a getting on the Whitney show is that uh, Justin Foster gets, doesn't have to sleep in the dog bed anymore. He gets to sleep on the sofa, so Ross has a dog bed at the comedy apartment. That's funny. <laughs> I swear to God, that's funny if you're a Dallas comedian. That's fucking awesome. So seriously, I'm glad that Ross is going to L.A. to follow his dream, because apparently his dream consists of sleeping in the alley behind a liquor store, <laughs> selling his washboard to buy ramen noodles, and blowing club owners for a guest spot. So why move, Ross? <laughs> you can do that here. It's fucking awesome. I'm glad that Ross has previous hotel experience, but I'm afraid for Ross. I'm afraid that his previous hotel experience at the Crescent has not prepared him for cleaning dead hooker stains off the mattress at a Motel 6. It's terrible. <laughs> it's awful. So I'm thinking, about, I'm thinking about this. Imagine this, if you will, ladies and gentlemen. Los Angeles, California, a guy in a suit, kind of comedic songs, goofy, wacky, kind of like Steve Martin, but not as funny. We've already done that, Ross. We've already done that. Why do you want to do that? All right. You know, I seriously, I would like to, uh, to wish Ross all the success that he absolutely deserves out in Los Angeles, which means he'll be back in five weeks. So, five or six. Dallas Comedy will miss you, Ross. Kind of like I miss the... My girlfriend with a yeast infection. <laughs> no, seriously, it's terrible. No, seriously, what we will miss is all the hot milks you bring out to the show, so it's fantastic. <laughs> Cougar Town, ladies and gentlemen. What can I say that David Jessup hasn't already said? But seriously, Ross, I will miss you. That's a fucking lie. I'm fucking washboard. All right, so now. Now, now that I'm done with that, Ross, I'm, I'm serious, I, I wish you success. And, uh, and now a couple shots on a couple local comedians. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a big hand for Chris Lehman? He was voted the funniest comic in Texas for 2011. Big hand. <laughs> Seriously. Which proves that 2011 was the worst year for local comedy <laughs> in recent memory. How about Ryan Perio? Ryan, I promised myself, I made a personal promise to myself that I wouldn't say anything about you looking like Frodo from Lord of the Ring. So I've only got two words, Dan Danzy. Awesome. Brian Rakestraw, Brian Rakestraw, funny, funny local guy, funny guy. Uh, Rakestraw, his ancestors, his last name actually comes from his ancestors, Rakestraw, which oddly enough is funnier than his, most of his sets. Awesome. Jen Hoff, big hand for Jen Hoff, seriously, she's been sober for a year. She's also been celibate for a year. <laughs> Girl, you have got to learn how to lower your standards now that you're sober. That's all I'm saying. And a, a big hand for, uh, for Patricia Sweeney. She runs the uh, open mic at uh, Hyenas, where Ross got his start. Ross is one of the, the few local comics in Dallas that can get Patricia Sweeney in a dress. And Dave Jessup is hoping that he's one of the few Dallas comedians to get her out of the dress. <laughs> That's only funny if you're in the DFW Comedians group. So that's a lot of inside jokes. And that's really all I've got, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, thank you very much for coming out. Much success to you, Ross.